So hey, Long Care Nation, in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing of the new Milwaukee M18 Fuel Quick Lock String Trimmer Kit, coming up. So hey, Long Care Nation, this Milwaukee Quick Lock System is Milwaukee's entry into the uh, accessory capable multi-tool type system, similar to Steel's uh, Combi system or Echo's Pass type system, where you have a main unit and you can buy different attachments to use on the same uh, power unit uh, of the machine, therefore uh, saving you a lot of money versus uh, buying individual uh, type machines. Now this this uh, kit here uh, comes with the string trimmer attachment already. It comes with the quick charger and it also comes with the 9 amp hour battery. So some of the other attachments that are available in this quick lock series are a uh, sidewalk edging attachment, a articulating hedge trimmer attachment, a pole pruner chainsaw type attachment, a uh, three foot extension pole attachment that will fit in between those other accessories to uh, give you a longer reach. So let's go over some of the specs. So this of course features the power state brushless motor and with the included nine amp hour battery in this particular kit, uh, you get a claimed uh, one hour runtime per charge uh, with the string trimmer attachment that's also included uh, in this particular kit. And the throttle response on this is you can go from zero to full throttle in less than one second. Now with that string trimmer uh, attachment that's included uh, of course in this particular kit let's uh, go over some of the uh, specs on that so it's got a cutting swath of 14 to 16 inches uh, it can use a line diameter of 0 0.080 inches or 0 0.095 inches uh, the RPM uh, depends on what setting you have uh, the trigger set at. So if you have it on turtle mode, it goes from zero to 4,900 RPM. And if you have it on the rabbit mode, then you're getting zero to 6,200 uh, RPM. Uh, the trigger is uh, a variable speed trigger. So you have sort of infinite control uh, between uh, those uh, RPMs. Uh, and uh, the feed system is a bump feed. Uh, so the actual length of this uh, unit assembled with the string trimmer attachment is 72 inches and the weight is 12.3 pounds. So let's open it up and see what's included. Okay, so you of course get some instructions and documentation. You've got the guard here for the trimmer head. The bottom side looks to be a lot uh, wider than their previous model. You get the trimmer shaft itself with the trimmer head. This has some good weight to it. This is their new bump head. It's also their new uh, quick load uh, type system uh, where basically you can, uh, once the spool is out of line, you uh, line up the red marks on the side, you stick in uh, your spool or your line all the way through to the other side, pull it through, center it, and then you're able to turn and twist uh, to reload the line. The handle. It's the same nice handle uh, that is on the original Milwaukee trimmer. Nice rubbery feel. Some clamps and bolts, an Allen key, some more screws, the quick charger, a 
and of course the motor unit itself. Again, some good weight to it. Very similar to the original uh, in terms of uh, the handle. It's got, looks like a little locking uh, trigger here. And then of course their uh, quick lock system with a tightening clamp. Looks to be very well made. All metal construction there. And of course, this should be the uh, battery. One of the M18 red lithium uh, nine amp hour batteries. So one of the first things you want to do before putting this all together is deciding whether you want the 14 inch cutting swath or the 16 inch cutting swath on the trimmer head. Uh, so how you do that is by taking the guard and looking at uh, the uh, cutting uh, edge here that actually cuts the string as it spins around. From the factory it's set at the 14 inch cutting length from where the trimmer head is and the string would extend out as it's rotating around. So what you do is you remove the two screws there, you take it out, it's sort of an L-shaped bracket there, you flip it around and then screw it back in and now that's going to give you the 16 inch cutting length. It's got cutting surfaces on both edges depending on which way uh, you have it installed. And there we go. So next you want to attach the cutting guard to the actual trimmer head. So there you have it, there's the guard on the trimmer head. So next we're gonna take the handle and actually put it on the uh, motor unit. So Milwaukee makes this pretty easy, they supply all the hardware of course, and they put a sticker here on the top that says, place handle here. So essentially you're gonna be mounting the handle right there at the front of that sticker. So first, we take the handle and you take one of these metal brackets, you're gonna put it on the inside there. You're gonna find that location and put it to approximately in that spot. You're gonna see the top of the handle has some hexagonal shaped holes. You're gonna take one of the nuts, fit it in there, just hold it in place, flip the unit over as best you can. You're gonna take the other bracket that's supplied Put it on the bottom half, take the uh, bolt and thread it through. And just twist it till you get it sort of uh, uh, threaded in there. And then you're gonna do the same with the other bolt and nut. Take the nut, put it through the other threaded hole or hexagonal hole I should say. Take the other bolt, pop it in till you get it sort of uh, finger tight. Then you can uh, put your handle exactly where you want it, line it all up. And then grab the hex tool that's included and tighten it down. And there you go. Nice and tight, nice and even. So the other included uh, accessory that you'll find in the kit is just this straight piece of metal, this piece of doweling here. And what that's used for is for uh, putting in the trimmer head. You'll see this hole here. You can fit it in there, put some pressure on it and just turn the trimmer head until you feel it uh, fall into place. 
basically right there. And what that does is basically lets you uh, hold the trimmer head in position so that you can take it off if you ever have to replace the trimmer head. It basically locks it in place uh, so that you can unscrew it. So on the uh, trimmer head accessory here, you see a little uh, arrow sticker here with a line similar to uh, the combi system and the path system, basically uh, telling you that this part of the shaft has to go into the coupler. There's also a hole uh, on this one here that looks like a latch of some sort kind of clips in there. And that's probably from uh, this uh, little button here that you see. Uh, it looks like it releases uh, the latch on the inside. So we're gonna slide that in and see uh You see it there? So it's clipped into place. Obviously that latch is holding it in there. If I press that button, it's gonna let me release the coupler again. It's clipped in place. And then you can tighten down the screw here on the side just to uh, keep it on there nice and tight so it minimizes any play. There we go, nice and tight. So let's throw a battery in it and see what it sounds like. So overall, my first uh, impressions uh, are uh, that I like the unit. It's very well built. It's got some really good uh, weight to it. Feels really solid in your hand. Um, I love the quick lock uh, system and uh, the accessories that you can get for it. Uh, the Milwaukee handles have always been uh, a favorite of mine. Uh, I love the instant power uh, that these units provide that as soon as you pull that trigger, there's no uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, waiting for it to get up to RPM. It's instant power. Uh, I like that Milwaukee went uh, with a new uh, uh, bump system head, uh, sort of a quick load head, uh, like uh, Echo's uh, speed feed uh, style system. So that'll be interesting to test over the next uh, few weeks and months in my lawn care business. Uh, and, uh, you know, just uh, overall, I uh, have been really impressed uh, with using the Milwaukee stuff uh, in the past year. So looking forward to putting this one to the test. Uh, so you guys stay tuned for more videos when I start using this and uh, actually putting it uh, through its paces. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Milwaukee's new M18 Fuel quick lock system. And uh, do you plan on getting one and uh, which accessories uh, interest you the most? So if you like these uh, Milwaukee unboxing and uh, review type videos, I'll leave uh, another one for you to watch up here in this corner, or I'll leave one of my other videos for you to watch up here in this corner. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.